And moving over to the court, the Class B quarterfinals were at the Expo today. That was the attraction. Number three, Yarmouth. Number six, Miranda Cook. Nolan Haggerty given the shot. He makes the shot. Clippers went by four at the half, but they start on a roll in the second half. Then Noah Eckersley Ray, the reverse pivot. Clippers open the second half on a 7 0 run. Miranda Cook trying to get back in it. Cashman McClure drills one from downtown. He had three threes in the game, but Miranda Cook only five field goals in the second half. The Clipper defense was big. Johnny Torres on the drive. And then Torres in transition. He had 17. Yarma takes it 43. 33. The Clippers moving on. Number seven, Mountain Valley taking on number two, Cape Elizabeth. Capers hit the glass early on. Andrew Hartel, the put back inside and a nifty one. Mountain Valley turns to Keegan Davis. The nice move in the finger roll for style points. He had 16. Then Davis steps out. Falcons would go up 19-17 in the second, looking for the big upset, but the Capers go back to Hartel on the cut. Liam Jacobson finds him. Then Hartel at the foul line, the reverse pivot, and one. He had 15 for Cape. Finn Bovey had 16. Here he sets up David Harry for the three. 47-31. Cape the win, they'll face Yarmouth Thursday night. Number one, Wells defending regional champ and upstart Freeport, the eight seed. Wells had an 11 point lead in this one, but here comes Freeport. Toby Holt to Nate Thomas inside. We're tied at 36 late in the fourth. Then Erickson Shea hits a cutting Holt, and Freeport takes the lead with about four to go. Wells decides they have to pound it inside, and they do. Cam Cousins, the turnaround, and the basket, and the foul. Wells goes up one. Falcons have an answer. Gabe Wagner gives Freeport the lead back. But the Warriors go back to Cousins again. They go up 41-40 in the late stages. Then just over a minute to play. Warriors up three. Matt Sherburn ices it with the basket and the foul. 52-45. Wells with a win over Freeport. Number five, Gray. And number four, Spruce Mountain. Sonny Hebert, remember the 51 state title team at Livermore Falls, cheering on his Phoenix at Spruce Mountain. But it was Gray coming out shooting hot all over Grant from downtown. Then Josiah Rotari from downtown. They had five threes in the first half, built a big lead. They were up 26-10 at the break. Zach Parmelo, a three. He led the way with 12 for the Patriots. In the third, Jordan Daigle, basket and one for Spruce. They're down 35-18, but Gray would seal it. Zach Brady, they break the press. He finishes 57-34. Gray will face Wells on Thursday. Their first trip to the semi since 1991. How about that? Southern D-Boys up in Augusta. Number two, Valley. Number seven, Temple Academy. End of the first half. Nathaniel Wiles beats the buzzer. Temple up 24-15 at the break. Valley rallies in the third. It's a sweet hoop by Josh Brown. Game tied at 30. Then Joey Thomas for three. He had a game high 23. Valley with a 45-44 win. Forest Hills and Seacoast Christian facing off in the 4-5 game. Seacoast builds the lead. Marlon Bernardo drives for the hoop and the foul. Then Jesse Town on the fast break. Guardians up 11 at the half. Forest Hills rallies in the fourth. Hunter Cuddy for three. He had 18. Then Jacob Rivas drives for the hoop and the foul. Game tied at 62. Seacoast responds, though. Town ahead to Bernardo, who had 20. 78-67. Seacoast the victory. Defending regional champ and top seed Greenville facing Rangeley. All Lakers from the start. Devin Boone, the short J. Nine of his 14 came in the first. Then Connor D'Angelo spots up for three. He had 14-2. 56-22. Greenville's moving on. Southern D quarters. Islesboro facing Temple Academy. Islesboro with only five fully healthy players, but Keisha Scott making the most of her playing time. Had 19, and the Eagles led late in the first half. But the other way, Delaney Carr buries the three. She had 23. Temple had a two-point lead at the half, and they pull away in the third. Olivia Baker, the putback. 56-32. Temple with the victory. All right, taking one more look at another game. Winslow and Oceanside. Michael Norton, the junior for Oceanside, the late three. Final seconds. Mariners still up one. Battle in the paint. Jake Lapierre will get credit for the buzzer beater for Winslow. 39-38. How about that Winslow moving on? That right there, guys, the drama of the